Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Tenfold Live. My name is Philippa and I'm here to bring you back into a brand new topic for our episodes. Remember that this show is proudly brought to you by Liberty, so stay tuned for some fantastic content. This week we're covering factoring polynomials, so we're going to be doing the factor theorem, the remainder theorem, we're going to be going into some difference of cubes, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of factoring stuff, so stay tuned for exciting content. If you feel like you need just that extra bump for your matric, we've got a maths and science app called Tenfold Education, also brought to you by Liberty. We've compiled some great content on that app, guys. We've got concept videos, example videos, lesson videos, stuff to completely buffer up your matric, and even videos that help you understand where your matric maths is applied outside the classroom. So make sure you download that app, guys. We've worked really hard to bring you some really great content. So over the next three terms, this Tenfold Live show is going to be running from a Monday to a Thursday every evening, 5 until 6 p.m. So make sure you stay tuned and watch all of our episodes. We're here to help you with your matric. Also, we've put together revision packages to help you orientate yourself with the content. That goes from 4 until 5 p.m. every day, Monday to Thursday. So watch that if you feel like you need a little buffer to get into this show. Right, so this week we're covering factoring polynomials. We're going to jump straight into a learner question. We've got a fantastic question from Gugu. Let's have a look at what she says. Hi, Tenfold. My name is Gugu. I'd like you guys to assist me with these two questions. Question one says factorize the following, which is m to the power of 3 minus 8 n to the power of 3. The second question goes like, we also have to factorize the following, Open brackets, 2p minus 1, close brackets, the power of 3. Minus, open brackets, p plus 1, close brackets, to the power of 3. This is the question. Thank you. Alrighty guys, so this question is basically just to orientate yourself within the factorization realm. We're going to be factor factoring some difference of two cubes. I know that you did dots, difference of two squares in earlier grades. This starts to get a little bit more confusing because we're going to have three factor brackets, not just two. So I'm going to go into some theory on to how to handle these difference of two cubes because it's kind of important that you understand where this stuff comes from before we even try to solve anything. So obviously our first question is this one which says factorize m cubed minus 8n cubed. Okay, I'm going to go into theory first of difference of two cubes. So difference of two cubes will always take the form of we have a cubed minus b cubed. So we've got something, a perfect cube of something, minus a perfect cubed of something else. That's where the difference of two cubes comes in. Okay, so when we're factorizing this, guys, we know that we're going to have, first of all, we're going to take out one factor bracket and a factor bracket, which both distribute out into the cubes that we're trying to find. <laughs> I don't know if I should keep going. Okay, so what happens is in that first factor bracket, guys, we're going to look at what the initial question was, which is a cubed minus b cubed. Okay, so you take, first you take the cube root of that first cube that we have. And this sign is always the same as the one that we're working with, so we get minus, and then we take the cube root of the second cube that we have. And that's this factor bracket comes in afterwards. Okay, so that bracket simplifies to just a. Okay, so if we have a perfect a cubed up here, we know that we have the cube root of that one in here, which is just a. This sign in this bracket is always the same as the sign that we're working with up here. Okay, that's where that subtract comes from. And then we subtract the cube root of that perfect cube that we have over here. So the cube root of that one is b. Okay, this is the generalized rule, guys, just FYI. Okay, so then when we get into the second factor bracket, well, it makes sense that if we have a first degree um, binomial in this bracket, we're going to have a second degree binomial in this bracket, i.e. it's going to have a highest exponent of 2, because we need to have an exponent of 2 happening here to add to that 1 to give us the cube that we have up here. Okay, so in this bracket, we're going to have a squared, which makes sense because a squared multiplied by a to the power of 1 will give us that a cubed up here. Okay, at the end we'll have b squared for the same logic that we need to get a b cubed up here. Then in the middle, 
because of your distribution rules, guys, that you did in like grade nine, we're going to have the product of those two cube roots because if we have those in that bracket, it's going to multiply out and subtract and eventually cancel each other out. So you're going to have just the difference of those two cubes. Okay, so in the middle of that bracket, we're going to have AB. Now, in terms of the signs, guys, in the first bracket, this sign here is always the same as the sign you're working with in your original cube question. This sign in the middle here is always different to the one that you're working with. So it's a plus in this case. If it was a cubed plus b cubed, we'd have a negative over there because it's always different. And then this last sign over here is always positive because a positive multiplied by a negative will give us that negative b cubed over there. Okay, so this is the general rule of difference of two cubes, guys. We have a cubed minus b cubed will factorize to give us the cube root of that first perfect cube minus the cube root of that second perfect cube. And then we get a squared different sign to the one we're working with plus the product of the two cubes and always plus in the last sign b squared. Okay, so now guys, if we apply this to the question that we have here, we have m cubed minus 8n cubed. That means that a is m, because that's the cube root of that m cubed, and b equals the cube root of that whole thing. Guys, the cube root of 8 is 2, and the cube root of n cubed is n. Okay, so now it's just simple substitution into this formula. We have m cubed here minus 8n cubed is equal to, okay, well a is m, b is 2n, then we get um, a squared, so we said that a was m, so we get m squared plus the product of the two, okay, so we have a multiplied by b, which is 2mn plus 4n squared, okay, so Normally, we'd look at the second bracket and see if it can be factorized further, but it can't be factorized further in this instance, so this is fully factorized. Okay, so hopefully that's helped you orientate yourself with the difference of two cubes. This was an easy example. The second one is a little bit harder because we have cubes that are actual brackets. They're not just one term, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so the second question says factorize the following. Okay, what we're testing here, guys, is your ability to recognize that there are two cubes in here with a subtract in between them. Okay, so remember what I said. We have a cubed minus b cubed as the general format. It's equal to a minus b a squared plus a b. Mm, let me get that out of the way. a b plus b squared. Okay, so here guys, we need to identify that a is this whole first bracket here. So that's 2p minus 1, and b is this second bracket here. So b is p plus 1. Okay, so now, guys, if we substitute into here, we get that this whole thing that we're trying to work out is equal to, okay, so that first bracket, let me use square brackets just to demarcate them off. That first bracket, guys, first we have a, which is 2p minus 1, minus b, which is that whole bracket, p plus 1, all multiplied into a squared plus ab plus b squared. So a squared would be 2p minus 1 squared plus ab would be the product of both of those two. So we get 2p minus 1 multiplied by p plus 1 plus b squared, which is p plus 1 squared. Okay, and that's where that square bracket ends. Okay, so guys, this is the factorized format, but I also kind of want to see if we can multiply this out and get it into like a nicely, properly factorized format. So if I simplify this first square bracket here, 2p minus p gives us just p minus 1 minus plus 1 gives us minus 2. Okay, so that's that first bracket. Now here, if we multiply out this first square here, is going to give us 4p squared minus 4p plus 1. Now we move on to the second distribution here. We get plus 2p squared 
minus p plus two p is equal to just plus p, and then minus one. Then we multiply out this last square and we get plus p squared plus two p plus one. Okay, so now it's just a case of simplifying. So we get this bracket stays the same, p minus two, 4p squared plus 2p squared plus p squared gives us 7p squared. Negative 4p plus p is negative 3p plus 2p is negative p. And 1 minus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Okay, and now that is definitely fully factorized. Okay, guys, so in this question, we were testing your ability to see that when we have a difference of two cubes, the cube can be a whole expression cubed minus another whole expression cubed. So in this question, we're really testing your ability to recognize that there's a cube happening, subtracting another cube, which means you can apply your difference of two cubes rule. Also, hopefully the theory has helped you. Just remember the rules of when you're trying to get your factorized brackets. Just remember where the signs go, what factors you're using, etc. And hopefully this has helped you orientate yourselves within the whole factorization domain. Okay, so that's our first question. For now, we're going to jump into an ad break and then Julian will be back with the next question. So stay tuned. <laughs>